the beans like we used to do. Pass the beans. Pass the beans like we used to do. Pass the beans. 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 The Beans Talk. Hey, Bean Fam, it is the Bees Talk Podcast, and we are coming back at you with another episode. Hey, hey. Yay, yay. Yeah, man. We are four <laughs> educators of color bringing you raw, authentic conversation about society views and community engagement. Everybody, I am Fabs. I'm Steph. What's up, y'all? What it do, baby? It's Ro. <laughs> and this is TJ. <laughs> yeah, man. And today we got Community Circle. So we have Mike from Dedicated to the Grind. Ooh, pass the beans like we used to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's yeah. You, you better act yeah. like you know the song. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So before we go into that interview, mm-hmm. we got our do now as always. Yes, 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 mm-hmm. yes. So I was actually thinking about this because I believe that we are lifelong learners. Yeah. Right. And then a lot of us coming from a educational background, I feel like we're always doing the teaching. Mm-hmm. But my do now question is, I want us to like reverse that real fast. So I want us to be the student. Ooh. And my specific question to y'all is, in 2020, we're still in January. I know it's felt like six months. Yes. Um, but yes. We're still in January. In 2020, what is something that you want to become a student of? Mm. Oh, that's, Ooh, that's, that's a, a great, great question. question. Yeah, I question. really want to hear from y'all. I like that. All y'all. I like that. I like that a lot. Damn. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You hmm. better think. I know. <laughs> Damn, that's a the, really good question, though. I feel like the first thing that comes to my mind is something like health related. Like, mm. I want to learn more about, I don't know, macros and mm. what to eat and um, just more information about how the body works. Mm. I like that. To like, you know, take my my health journey to the next level. Especially mm-hmm. hitting Don't. 30, I think that's really important. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, things are really only important. slowing down from there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't relate. So, <laughs> not yet. We'll give you a little bit of time. Well, I'm not 30 either yet. Okay. Uh, you're, close. Not you're on the cusp. I am. Ah, oh, you're not, yeah. I'm not 30 <laughs> yet. I'm 29. <laughs> You just gotta highlight that. Huh? Well, you you are just ready to, for everyone to join you, ain't you? <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm the oldest person at this table. I can't. Uh, Me, so. um, I'll go next. Yeah, I can go next. Um, I would like to be a pretty solid student of how to throw um, successful events. Um, <laughs> an and, event planner? Yeah, not necessarily like event planners, but really for the bees talk. You know what I mean? I would oh. like to be able to like put certain things on to invite more people so they can get to know us. We can get to know them. I really want us to be inside of the community. And I think that would be a great way to do that. And so I think uh, learning a little bit more on how to do that successfully, um, that would be really cool. Oh, I thought man. you were going to say art. She's been like really into being a student right now when it comes to art and drawing that's true. and yeah. painting. So I've been Those keeping that on the low. drawings that's, you did? Yeah. I mean, that's really just, that's been a lot for me. Um, but uh, that's true. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But I've been a student of that. So. It, <laughs> it's interesting. When I think of being a student of anything, I think of humble, like uh, there's a, like a humbleness that comes mm-hmm. with being a student. Like you, you have to accept that you don't know something and be yeah. open to yeah. learning. Yeah. Um, so for me, it would be um, cooking. Okay. Why did you have to say it like that? I don't know. Cooking. You're a good cook, though. I'm all right. The times that you, well, um, we're not even going to Yeah, we could yeah, definitely yeah, what we did when we did <laughs> eat meat. Don't okay, jump into, you jump yeah, into conclusions. Don't embarrass me too. But he can cook. I mean, his food has good flavor. I enjoy eating TJ's food. The parts eat. that are edible. <laughs> the parts that are edible. Yeah. There's been a few times when TJ has when left some meat, not cooked all the way through, but... The I'm flavor was there. Why you gotta call me out on the podcast like that? And now we people just had think I eat raw meat. On, like on I'm a cannibal. You can you can learn how to cook easy. Honestly. Yeah, you can learn I'm open to it. I'm really um. I know I watch the food chain, the Food Network often, mm-hmm. and I just want to like um. I'm not saying I'm gonna be the next like Bobby Flay or freaking anything like that, but um, just being open to um trying new things, yeah. experimenting, so- and just. I feel like it's easier to be a decent chef today because of like YouTube yeah. and stuff. Like yeah. you can easily find a yeah. way to cook. Yeah, yeah. Um, as opposed to back in the day where you had to have a cookbook or you had to have um, you know, the cooking shows on. Right, right. But yeah, so. yeah. Quick, yeah. quick uh, segment or well, side story. My first job was working 
in a restaurant. So that's actually how I learned how to cook. Oh, okay. yeah. oh that's Boston. dope. I used to work at Faneuil Hall. Okay. Yeah, cool. For three years. Oh, nice. Love it. Everything. Uh, prep. Uh, so I worked in a steakhouse. That closed. That was my first job between 18 and 19. Mm -hmm. Then I worked in a seafood restaurant, McCormick and Smick. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, in downtown. Yeah. Right? So downtown. I learned how to prep food. I learned uh -uh. how to, yeah, so. The whole nine. Yeah, because McCormick, like the servers, they come out with mm -hmm. all of the... The Ingrid. things. Remember, we went there for Valentine's so Day good. one year. That is expensive. So that's how. It's that's kind of like how I, I. That's really how I learned how to cook. You know what uh, I mean? That's good. Don't I'm, not, I'm not nasty. I'm not like you know. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not Emerald. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, TJ, he sounds like he's trying to. I feel like TJ's food tastes good. Like it's flavorful. But it sounds like you want to get more into like playing with different spices, like moving beyond just adobo. Yeah, adobo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I definitely do. I mean, yeah, just because I feel like one, being a man that cooks is like, I find attractive, mm -hmm. but also it's just, you know, it's like, it's in art in and of itself. So. It's true, it's it is. It's, it's a is. stress reliever as well. Mm -hmm. Facts. What do I want to be a student of? I think... Ro really needs to focus on De La Ro. Yeah. Ooh. Like, I really, I really yeah. want I'm to. I'm excited. Yeah, me me too. Making moves, and I really want to <laughs> dedicate myself to the grind. <laughs> yeah. um, to the grind of, no, like, I really want to get into the mixing and, and, and doing all of that. Like, I really want to dedicate, really, time to that, knowing that I'm not an expert. I don't know it all, uh, but I want to learn it all. So I'm going to really be a student of... De La Ro. And for people who don't know what that is, if you haven't listened to past episodes, De La Ro is her DJ name. Yeah. So she's trying to get into her DJ. Yeah. Her DJ what, would be the, uh, what would be the genre? Mm -mm. Afrobeat. Uh, honestly, Ro, no, Ro is so everything. Everything. Freaking talented everything. With music. Everything. Mike, I love it. You love music. All. Mm -hmm. you love music. Love I like that. She's solid. I like that. Yeah, man. I can't wait to you dive in. I'm excited. De La Ro. De La Ro. She's De La Ro. here. That's a dope name, too. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, TJ. Mm -hmm. That's a dope name. bring that back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about you, Mike? Um, I would focus. I, I think I want to be, become a master of better time management mm -hmm. and really financial independence. Ooh, that's dope. Because I think with financial independence. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. Very you're good. opening up different lanes. I can open up lanes like uh, prior to the podcast we were talking about you know, Adobe Illustrate mm -hmm. with mastering logos. Let's say that Ro, she needs a logo for her, for her DJ. She wants mm -hmm. apparel. I can help her do that. Mm -hmm. So it's just, I want to focus on making my own money, making, you know, because I feel like with work, we get so wrapped up in other employers' dreams, which is basically our job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it stresses us out. Yeah. You know, we mm -hmm. might not see family. We might not be having as much fun. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I believe. That's my um, main goal. That's a solid one. Like Financial solid independence is I feel always like, solid. Yeah. I feel like so many of us need to need to focus on that. Um, Agreed. To be honest, only way for the community to grow, become it's better. True. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for no that, problem, Dino. Man. Bro, really appreciate it. That was a really good one. Yeah. yeah De, La, sure. De La Ro. Yep. De La Ro. Remember the name. De La Ro. <laughs> I loved how that name came about, though. I know. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah. A little hair beast. silhouette with pink hair. Yo, solid, solid. Girl, wait, <laughs> just wait, just wait. All right, so now it's time for the community circle. We're going to be jumping right into that. But before that, I'm going to give a little intro. So Mike is the founder of Dedicated to the Grind. Mm -hmm. He started his movement and brand back in 2016. The whole premise of Dedicated to the Grind is to live out your hustle to the fullest. Mm -hmm. So many times people don't live up to their full potential because they listen to what others say and doubt themselves. Mm -hmm. The goal is for this movement and motivational apparel to become big enough to help connect others to their dream through resources. That's correct. Dope, dope, wow. dope. And as you guys and can see, we have our... Dedicated, dedicated to the grind. Dedicated to the grind. <laughs> we, anybody who doesn't have it here, they will be receiving it. <laughs> I was like, dang. We will have one soon. Yeah. We will have but one you know, soon. just just that, like I've had within the last three months, people reaching out to, um, you know, do to work with me. You want to be brand um, ambassadors. That's dope. Um, somebody from the Patriots reached out. Well, he started following me and then, you know, I sent That's him dope. some stuff. It's, uh, it's Brandon Bowden. That is that's solid. That's um, solid. The guy with the like the blonde dreads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that must have felt amazing. It, and I don't know how he found me. But yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how did you come up? Like, how long has this dedicated to the ground been a thing? And you know, um, how did it come about? Okay, so quick story. Um, back in 2015, I was 
like I've, I'm, I've always been a person who just wants to create. Like when I was younger, my first pair of Jordans I ever bought, me and my friend, we shoveled for three months, three months. And I bought those Jordans. Like I've always wanted to do like projects to just like create my own like, mm -hmm. money, my own lane. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like that's where I'm, I'm happiest. I'm happiest when I, I have like control over my own destiny. Absolutely. You know? mm -hmm. like that. So um, dedicated to the grind, just, you know, it just fit the criteria of what I am. I'm dedicated to the grind. Like mm -hmm. I don't want to, you know, I want to break generational curses. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the grind is my niche. Yeah. And, you know, um, it was actually called Everyday Humble Beginnings at first. Wow. Like, that oh, everyday humble beginnings. Yeah, Sounds like a church. Yeah. <laughs> humble beginnings. I don't know. It, it doesn't. Sounds, and then, everyday humble beginnings. Yeah. You know, come on down. down. <laughs> yeah. Like even like the logo I had was like bricks and oh god. It was mm -hmm. it was so it was supposed to be like bricks stacking up to yeah. the foundation of your like hustle. So um wow. fast forward 2016 because I was trying to find somebody to like make a logo for me. Right. I, I knew nothing about Adobe Illustrate nor anything else. My sister came into Boston. I have a I have a younger sister. All my siblings are younger than me, but okay. I have a sister. Um, she lives in Philly. Okay. She came to visit me. We, we got reconnected. Uh, and I told her, I said, I've been trying to get this logo and this yeah. and that. She connected me with this guy named Mike. And you guys might have seen his stuff before. He does like the uh, the illustrations for, uh, he has uh, Will Smith. He's from Philly. So okay. I think you might have saw his stuff. He has about 20,000 followers. Mm. So Will Smith reposted his stuff and... You know, Meek Mill, everybody oh, wow. from that. So, is it like cartoon art? It's, car it's kind of, yeah. It's like, uh, what do you call Caricature? Characters, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't remember the actual name right <laughs> now, but yeah. So that's him. He actually created it for me. I told him how I wanted it, specifically to the crown, specifically to the cursive. Everything. Oh, wow. You know? So this I actually created myself. Look at you. This part. So mm -hmm. I'm starting to get like in a hang of things. Mm -hmm. But like even just that, like I, it, then from there, I focused it. I focused on the quality. Mm -hmm. Of things, so mm -hmm. you know, when I first came, I had the stiff, you know, Pop Warner shirts that you win the champ. You know, they give to everybody. They're real stiff, and then you wash them and they fade. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, um, that's that's kind of like how I created. And then it's just like a lifestyle. Like I want everybody to to live out their hustle, to live out their dreams, because I I just feel like so many times people just fade in the back burner. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a mother of three. I can never obtain, you know. I can never be a homeowner. I could. Mm -hmm. I can never go back to school, or you know, stuff like that. I feel right. like everybody should just live up to their potential, yeah. and this is what this is about. Yeah. And yeah. if you see somebody similar to you doing something, which I have seen the past three years, oh, Mike did that. I know Mike. He was a knucklehead in school. If he could do it, I could do it. Mm -hmm. That's you know real. I mean? Yeah. So. That's dope. Yeah. Um, so I want to know because you said that there are a lot of times that other people have opinions about your own hustle, right? Mm -hmm. So did you receive any pushback when you decided to start to develop dedicated to the grind? Um, and if so, what's keeping you going? Hmm. Tell you the truth, I, I didn't get pushback from other people. It was mm -hmm. more internal, actually. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. It was mm -hmm. more internal. Um, it was internal because I was like, uh, like, I thought like in my head, I was like, oh, it's gonna, you know, the first time it's gonna sell like 50 shirts and this yeah, and that. Yeah. And then I got humbled when I only sold like <laughs> seven. I don't even think I sold that many. Wow. Maybe two weeks, maybe seven. Mm -mm. Wait, and how, what's the time frame that you sold those shirts? Two weeks. Wow. Like seven. That's maybe seven, like I said. Hey, you got a sale. Um, <laughs> you got so, sales. you know, I was just like sitting on stuff. I was like, I don't know if I even want to do this yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, I was telling my wife, I was like, I don't want to do this. And I was like, I think I'm just going to leave it alone. Mm. But then what I did was I sat back and I thought, I was like, you know, this could be the beginning of something that can push me forward. And really the e-commerce, when I switched to the e-commerce and made my website much more like approachable to people. If you, mm -hmm. you guys have been on the website. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You guys have been on the website. Mm -hmm. So I, I revamped that. Uh, I changed the product and switched to e-commerce. And that's basically where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As you are talking about things that have been like motivating you and pushing you mm -hmm. forward, who would you say is a person in your life that inspires you and motivates you the most? Um, I would probably say it's single-handedly it's my son, but the circumstances too. <laughs> and so my son is, so my son is, my son is autistic. Um, wow. He's, I would say he's, 
probably in the middle. He's like in the middle range. Mm-hmm. He can, he's functional. Like he can understand what I'm saying. He's mm-hmm. just nonverbal. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's been living with me since he was four. He'll be 11 very soon. Wow. Mm-hmm. So I've, he's, I've basically had custody of him his whole life. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, I wouldn't say one single person. I would say a circumstance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when I was four, I was actually adopted by my aunt and grandmother, my father's sister and mother. And I think growing up, you know, not having a complete family, uh, even though, like I said, even though it was my aunt and grandmother, mm-hmm. I didn't grow up with a father. I didn't grow up with a mother. Mm-hmm. And then my friends growing up, they both, they all had married parents, mm-hmm. father, mother, mm-hmm. multiple mm-hmm. siblings. Mm-hmm. So I think just that, it just kind of fueled me to like, I just want to change. I want to break generational curses. I don't mm-hmm. want to be in debt. My credit's good. Because um, <laughs> I, yeah. I, I don't know if you guys understand because you might be in different circumstances, but I don't want to be, you know, Debt. I don't want to have a broken family, mm-hmm. stuff like that. So that's another aspect of what dedicates to the grind is like breaking generational curses, whether that be nobody in your house is a homeowner, nobody mm-hmm. in your house had, well, nobody in your family, I'm sorry, has good credit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nobody in your family graduated from high school nor college. Mm-hmm. It, can, it can, that's, that's really, it's circumstances, not one specific person, but mm-hmm. definitely my son, number one, number two is my wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, wifey. Yes, yes. Yes. Very sweet. And that I've been with my wife for eight years now. Wow, yeah. that's beautiful. Shout out to y'all. Well, married for, but we've been together for a long time. That's yeah. beautiful. Bro. You've been married for eight I, years. I've been married for almost three. Oh, okay. almost three. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you recently had a wedding. Yeah, I got married in 2017. Oh, nice. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm looking forward to just like, you know, bringing, dedicate to the grind to the next level so that that way I can help other people because believe it or not, there's a lot of people who are creative, but they're scared to, they're scared to like step in out of their comfort zone. Absolutely. So once you see somebody like you or somebody, you know, you're like, Oh, I want to do that too. Mm-hmm. So yeah. mm-hmm. I mess with that. That's so dope. Question for you, Mike. So, mm-hmm. Aside from the swaggerific merch, mm-hmm. right? Uh, ded- <laughs> dedicated to the grind. No, it's clean. Mm-hmm. No, it really is clean. I respect that. What is something that your family and friends come to you for? Like, I know you're dedicated to the hustle, but like, what, um, do, what do they get your input? Ooh. Advice. Advice? Advice. Mm-hmm. What type of advice? Just any, any advice. Like, if, you know, relationship advice. Mm-hmm. Uh, I listen. That's what it is. I listen. I, get, I hmm. give good feedback. I'll give good feedback, but I'll crack a joke in between so that way it doesn't seem so harsh. <laughs> but yeah, we I, people come to me to talk. Okay. That's probably actually why I have so many relationships and I connect to people because I, I'm a good, I'll say I'm, I'm a good aura. Mm, yeah. Mm. I respect that. Aura. I got a really strong feeling that your network base is probably pretty, it's pretty tough. It's That's been like that since I've been little. To, not to toot my own horn, but- You better even, toot it. So, uh, <laughs> no my first day it. of kindergarten, right? Yeah. I remember this. My first day of kindergarten, I walked in and I remember I walked in, this girl was like, Oh, you want to share my crayons? I was like, yeah. She's like, okay, she's like, you're my boyfriend now. I was like, oh, okay. Like, day I, one. I, I've always been like, <laughs> no, day one I'll already always popping off. Let's make friends like that. Wow, you know? yeah. that's solid. That's really good. <laughs> you want to share my crayons? <laughs> you want to be my boyfriend? <laughs> I think Dang. that's my personality. It's this, and it, I can't like tell everybody because not everybody has that type of personality. Mm-hmm. Not every. Mm-hmm. Now, don't get me wrong. Some days. I don't want to be, and I wanted to ask you guys this. Do you guys like, you know, especially being educators, I know you work in various parts of the education system, mm-hmm. but do you ever feel like, okay, I do this every day. I want to turn down my, not to say that your personality is fake, but you don't want to always be like bubbly. You know I mean, what I mean? it's impo- I feel like as a, as a teacher, it's impossible to be bubbly all of the time. Yeah, you can't be. Um, <laughs> you know, I, there's times where you have to kind of check your attitude. I mean, this stuff that goes on outside mm-hmm. the classroom that you know you can't bring into the classroom. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's hard. I mean, car- car- compartmentalizing is mm-hmm. really important. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, I, I never feel the need to like tone down who I am, but I do make sure that I don't bring whatever stress or Anything that I'm basically, do you, you do you enjoy your space? Enjoy my space outside of the classroom. Yeah, outside of the classroom. I, I definitely do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm definitely, I'm I'm a, it's very it's very space. important to me to have space. Like, yeah. even, even my yeah. wife, like sometimes she'll know she's like, okay, let me give him a space because sometimes mm-hmm. I don't. 
Like, I just like to just relax. I yeah. like to be in my own yeah. thoughts and reflect. Yeah. That's another key of my success. I reflect upon the good, the bad. That's the only way. I think that's, that's the only important. way you can grow. I yeah. do that daily, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have to have time for yourself to just reset your energy and just take some time to recenter. Yeah. Yeah. That's very important. Yeah. That's actually one thing I want to, I wanna. it kind of goes hand in hand. Is like uh, last week we talked about three buckets of life. Mm -hmm. um, some of the, like, one of the three things that we value uh, so much um, that I think is just like non-negotiable mm -hmm. um, in terms of like the people that we really want to surround ourselves with. And I wanted to ask you, mm. um, what are your three buckets of life? So three. I'm trying to, I could give an example. Yeah, give, um, give me for an example. Mine. So mine yeah. is, is, is love, happiness, and time. Those are my three values, three buckets of life. Mine um, kind of echoes yours. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm really big on um, love. I'm really big on love, mm -hmm. energy. 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 I, I'm a mm. I sense energy. Like if if our energy is not culpable, then we're not going to be friends, mm -hmm. or I'm probably not going to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Or um, Love, energy and uh, family. Family. Yeah. Those are dope. Yeah. Those are three. Three. Solid buckets. Solid buckets. For energy is very very big. Like that can be. You know what's funny? Like some people think that sometimes. Okay, put it like this. Sometimes, like you see me talking to you right now, but mm -hmm. sometimes I might not say anything. I might just sit back and observe. They'd be like, oh, how come you didn't? Like, I have people like, oh, when I first met you, you were you were kind of quiet. I'm mm -hmm. like, no, I'm, I'm actually not a shy person. I just, sometimes I just sit back and reflect. I like mm -hmm. to let you talk, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And observe what's and going observe, on. observe, yeah. 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 I actually have a question about mm -hmm. dedicated to the grind. So it's in apparel. It's in a, it's like an apparel. It's, it's like an apparel. Um, um, do you only make, like, what is your realm of, like, do you only make hoodies? Are you just doing hats, I have socks, hats, I don't know. hoodies, track jackets. I have sweatpants, uh, socks soon. Um, <laughs> think about it. Think about it like this. You guys are all familiar with Rock Nation, correct? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Rock Nation isn't entirely... TJ didn't know what that was. You know was. Rock Nation, like mm. the little triangle <laughs> paper coin. I, I don't know what it is. I no. was going to say anything to calm say, myself mm, out. How did no. you know that? <laughs> she saw your face. We all knew. We all know. Like, it's a... It's a <laughs> I would say it's like a... Mm, it's not a sports agency. It's a whole multimedia agency. Mm -hmm. and it's founded by Jay-Z, but the premise of it is financial. You know, like the symbol. The symbol alone, the paper plane, mm. Jay-Z's friend made it thinking, oh, when I was younger, I'm never going to set foot on a plane. So paper planes, you sail them. They take you to different places in, you know, in the world mm -hmm. that you might never see. So that's the whole premise. Like This is like a, a, a motivational logo. Now what I want to do is I want to start doing maybe consultant work once this gets big enough. So that mm -hmm. DJ Road, she doesn't know the correct steps to take. Or we can just work. And then let's say, like, you know, Steph is... Uh, I don't know. Let's say she has the financial backing. We can connect with her and then throw an event. So like you're that. trying to turn de dedicated to the gr the grind into like an empire, kind of like an empire. And so right now, I, consider, I would say this is a movement. A movement. I don't even consider this is the motivational apparel. So similar to Rock Nation, they have motive. They have apparel as well, mm -hmm. but it's not a it's not a clothing brand. So I would say the clothing's a plus. Mm. Clothing you know plus. how Nike's a sneaker store, but they have. Uh, yeah, they have yeah. everything. I'm kind because of, I know you don't know a Rock Nation, so I'm trying to. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm the ignorant. Um, now you don't know Nike. I know. You don't, I don't know, know Adidas. I know. I don't. Know. So it's it, you know New Balances though. <laughs> yeah. Let's <laughs> yeah. say it's just the show. It's a showcase to showcase your hustle. It's not all about the clothing. That's why I don't go hard with like some of the other brands like Stanley. I know you know my friend Stanley mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. from uh, Paul Ramo and I am Creole. Mm -hmm. I don't focus just on the clothes. Now the clothes are an uh, sorry, the clothes are an addition to the actual motive, um, the actual movement. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to focus on more of of the work. If that so, makes sense. So currently, I don't. Know, I'm just trying to pick your brain, just because mm -hmm. like I think it's interesting. I'm just mm -hmm. trying to get an idea. So you are, you're currently doing a apparel, but mm -hmm. you're not going to stay in apparel. You want to branch out. And no, I'm always like, going to be in apparel. So on the website, I have. Um, there's apparel, but there's also motivational videos. There's videos how to get your credit up. There's videos about oh, yeah. Oh, That's okay. what I'm saying. It's, it's all. It's a movement. It's a movement. Okay. It's, it's not. I was just trying to like understand. Yeah. It's it's no. It's understand. I understand what you. A lot of people ask the same thing. Like oh, you clothing. I'm like no. I'm not a clothing brand. Like, even on my Instagram page, it says brand, not clothing. Mm -hmm. Just brand, like all together. You I know. Never paid attention to that. Huh? No, it's, it's fine. A lot. Of, like, I'm telling you, like I pay attention to very. I pay attention to details, but. <laughs> Um, on the on the website, it has you know how to motivational like stuff from you know might be Nipsey Hussle, 
there's a there's a couple on there talking about real estate, how to, to purchase your first home, mm-hmm. um, how to build up your credit. And then uh, just recently I added Pick Up the Hustle, which is showcasing uh, people like yourself just talking about, you know, five, seven minutes talking about your hustle. I'm DJ Raw. I want to be, I'm a DJ. I do this, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, what would you say has been your biggest failure and what did you learn from it? Mm-hmm. Well, that's a good one. Um, biggest failure. Mm. In life or just <laughs> I yeah, let's do that. How in life. To find yeah. It, yeah. I don't know, that's a good one. <laughs> My biggest failure. Uh I would honestly, you know what it is? I think I, I'm very critical of myself sometimes. I, I don't know if I have a, a biggest failure because I feel like with with anything, I would say maybe having a child young. I had my son when I was twenty one. Mm. Um but then again, I don't think I'll be the person I was now if if I say that was like a you know a regret or maybe not going after certain stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. So I, I I would say that I think just being less critical of myself mm-hmm. to get out of my get out of my own way you know just get out of my head mm-hmm. and just pursue what I think is right. Yeah, I think trial, a lot of us definitely yeah. struggle with something like that. Yeah. Um, we tend to be our greatest enemy. Mm-hmm. That's you know true. What I mean, and so that definitely makes sense. Oh, you know what? Looking back on it now, mm-hmm. not investing, not investing in, like you know investing in some of my money that mm-hmm. you know instead oh, of buying yeah. sneakers every single week. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. Taking that back, like thinking about how much money I spent, like buying stock earlier. Mm-hmm. So then by the time I'm, I'll be 32 in April. So by the time I'm 32, like, you know, I think that might be one. Not investing in my money when I was younger. Mm-hmm. About 10 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what have you Same learned from that? I learned that you need to be very, well, I've, I would say like recently within the last three to four years, I've stepped up financially. Like um, my credit shot up. I'm on the way to buying a house. Congrats! Yeah. Congrats. Nice. Thanks. That's you know, exciting. And then uh, my with marriage and stuff like that. So I think um, I buckled down a lot. Mm-hmm. I learned from, I'm like, damn, I was wasting a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of us don't think about that too. Even <laughs> like just bringing your, your food from home to work. And just yes. that, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Save so much. It's crazy. so much money. Mm-hmm. We have to go to the grocery store today. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. You ain't lying. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Seriously. I went yesterday. That's gotta happen. It's gotta happen. How'd you meet your wife? Like, um, what's you guys' so story? I met my wife when um when I was at Curry College. Um, one of my friends, he was on the football team, mm-hmm. and his girlfriend came up, and she and she came by. So my wife is younger than me. Mm-hmm. I'm 32. She'll be. I'll be 32, she'll be 28. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So she came by to see her friend. Like, they all came. And then uh, I guess she was like, oh, who's that? Who's that cur- uh, cute little nerd? Because oh, I that had- was you? Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I have my glasses on. I did. But, um, uh, so I didn't talk to her like for like a year. We talked, but we didn't talk on that level. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just told her like, you know, the time of the stuff, like my son was born, me mm-hmm. and me and my son's mother weren't on the best of terms. Mm-hmm. So, you know, just a, a voice to talk to, just yeah. remain friends. And yeah. then I would say like a year and a half later, we we connected. Oh, and nice. we've, we've been good ever since. So I think that's the key. You have to be friends with somebody before yeah. you start. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. Absolutely. That's so important. So Having a friends. friendship at the foundation, at the basis. Oh my yeah. gosh. Ooh, oh we God. preaching it here. Yeah. You have to be friends. <laughs> you must be friends. And then somebody who supports you, because she supports me. That's dope. And sometimes she's like, um, oh, babe, you got to like just focus and yeah. So, so I think that's really important. Similar mm-hmm. to similar to you. Yeah, you know, it's been, and it's I, been and a while. And I see that. Yeah, it's been yeah. great. It's Friendship really is extremely important. It is, man. Solid. Is. That's the foundation of any relationship. That's the only way really. you guys any are going to stay you know, in it for the long run. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. You got a good one on your team. That's so dope. Yeah. That really uh, well, is dope. <laughs> <laughs> I think mean, this is really wood. I know, right? <laughs> we all hope it's real wood that we knock on and we don't know if we're setting ourselves up for failure here. <laughs> oh, that is so dope. I have a question for yeah. you, Mike. So, Dead It to the Grind, you said, has been a thing since 2016, right? So, 2016, it was, uh, I released it. Okay. So, um, you know, just with the logo, mm-hmm, I had the logo. Mm-hmm. This is the actual logo. This mm-hmm, part mm-hmm. is just a saying. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there's various things that I've released. Like they might be strategically hustling. Mm-hmm, there's um, mm-hmm. there's another one. It was uh, no favors. Okay, it goes hand in hand with everything. Goes hand in hand with what dedicates to the grind is. So if you're dedicated to the grind, not saying you can't ask for help, 
But it goes back to your friends or people. Oh, let me get that for free. Mm-hmm, if you're mm-hmm. dedicated to your grind, you're asking for no favors. You're, you're working, you know, you're up for 23 hours mm-hmm. to perfect your craft. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so I, I think that's that's where it started. And then from there, I took it on and, you know, I, I switched to e-commerce mm-hmm, and then I made mm-hmm. the product better. Um, I started reaching out to people, creating more content, showing more of my personality mm-hmm, through mm-hmm. Um, the page. Mm-hmm. Notice how I never put anything on my personal page because my personal page is not my business page yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and right. then vice versa. Right, yeah. right. Mm-hmm. So you started in 2016, bruv. Um, and something that I always, I always ask people mm-hmm. who are doing their craft and like hustling mm-hmm. and are entrepreneurs. My question for you is when you're laying in that hospital bed, God forbid that's not what happens to you. I'm thinking at the end of your days. <laughs> at, the end of, at the end of your days, bro. At yeah. the end of your days. That was mad <laughs> sad. Uh, it was a little dark. But now, but now when, you, when you're getting to the end of your days, mm-hmm. what do you want the people to remember about Dedicated to the Grind? Yeah. Um, Legacy. I, w- yeah. I want them to Legacy. remember that it stood for something greater than one single person. It stood for a dream that anybody can have. It, it, could, it could stand for your dream, my dream, Fab's dream, Steph's dream. And uh, in um, TJ's dream, mm-hmm. so okay. I think that with that, it can. I don't know. I think that's like my whole thing. It's, just, it's legacy. It's it's a positive image that I have with dedication to the grind. And I think in three years, it's going to become really, really big. I believe you. Hey, really, really I'm big. With it. I'm with it. I Put believe it in that. Um, I have a question. Speaking of dreams, mm-hmm. um, what have been what has been like um, a couple of dreams that or hustles that you've noted. That have been really inspirational to you. So I pay attention to everybody's uh, like bits and pieces of everybody's page. I I follow multiple podcasts, multiple mm-hmm. clothing brands, artists. Um, I would say uh, so. My wife has a friend. Her cousin has this uh, brand called the. It's called the Rails. Mm. It's, um, it was actually featured on Atlanta. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I take you know I and now uh, Stanley. I know you, I keep saying Stanley. But <laughs> Stanley. I went to school with him. Um, I'm really proud of what he's doing. Mm. You know, and I feel like you're not a boss unless you can put other people on. So mm-hmm. that's why I say I'm able to you know get this big enough so that way I can have a street team. I can have a production team. No, I don't really need a production team, but you know, in house just in case of mm-hmm. events. Mm-hmm. Um, artists mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and um, lo and behold I don't make this big I don't blow this up but what I do is I support other people's hustles there's mm-hmm. been there's been artists I've bought stuff off of other people's mm-hmm. clothing brands um, like from Mother's Day there was a young lady I went to elementary school with she paints Oof. I bought something from I bought something from her and um, nice. yeah to making this support full circle. Yeah, yeah I, I can't. Funny. I can't preach dedicated. To, I can't preach what I preach and then don't support. Right. Yeah. 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 Does does a uh, dedicated to the grind? Your is it focused more on people of color or is it like everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I, that's a good okay, question. Okay. So that's actually a good question. <laughs> listen, listen, everybody. This is a disclaimer. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's focused predominantly on people of color, but there have been multiple people out of. The color spectrum. Why do? You, why are you focusing on the because I black feel like, community? I feel like as black people, we don't have like for me. I didn't grow up with male, you know, like anybody. I didn't grow up with people like doing big things. So I think like seeing somebody the same color as you. Um, doing something positive, mm-hmm. it can spark a, it can spark a, you know, Absolutely. a fuel, a, a fuel in the black community. I think yeah. that's why it's important. But no, it's not just subject to black people. But yes, I do cater to them. That's because we're the shit. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Are you? Do but anybody, you? anybody can. There's been there's people on my page that are plenty white. You know, yeah, Asian. Yeah. You know, yeah so, mm-hmm. but yeah, I I didn't. It's good that you said that. Because I wonder if people approach the patients like, oh, this is just a whole bunch of black people in here. <laughs> <laughs> but black culture is the shit. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's factual. It 100%. really is. Do you have anything planned this year for you to um, become more integrated into the community? Or do you have a vision for the way in which you want to increase community engagement? Um, so I have a I have a pop-up shop that I wrote up. I have a business plan for Um I want to do more volunteer work mm-hmm. and not specific. Uh, I would say specifically with kids. Hmm. Um, I feel like with kids, um, 
I don't, and I don't know the age range right now because I don't want to do it too young because they might not be receptive to it. But I want to work with kids, maybe do like a backpack giveaway or, mm. or go to a school and talk. Mm. Um, and just like volunteer work. I, w- I wouldn't be, I'm not going to say I wouldn't work with homeless people. I would do that too. But mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, that, and just keep, just keep, uh, and just keep growing the brand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have an idea. I have a suggestion. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, cause because you're doing, it's a, a de- uh, dedicated to the grind. That's mm-hmm. your logo. Yeah. Um, it'd be cool if you could partner with local artists, artists and like have it be like, yeah. a, like really, you can custom make your hoodie or t-shirt with the dedicated like to a, the grind. Like a special, like combine, a limited, like a limited edition type of. Combine it with like, Art, an art yeah. piece, yeah, yeah. Check so you're partnering out, with, yeah. Check your uh, own. Shit. Um, <laughs> we got a fellow entrepreneur, I know. Being like that's how I mean, um, just bringing in artists who don't get exposure, and you can like have them partner with. And you that's and also another logo. thing. Like, um, I do. I like to work with people who don't have exposure, maybe don't have a voice. I, okay, I'm not gonna say I'm, I'm an eccentric person. I'm not like by any means like super loud or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But if I want something, I'm gonna get it. So mm-hmm. I think you know working with some working with somebody like me, and if you're kind of shy, you can bring that image to the forefront. Hmm. If you're an artist, but mm-hmm. yeah, that's really like maybe like throwing something like paint or something. Yeah, that's yeah. that's really that's Combining a really good idea. The logo with with art. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. a really good. With idea. an artist, because I mean they do have like options to do like print mm-hmm. or anything like that. You grab their so, piece of art and you throw it on your shirt. I've, I'll give you guys. A, I'll tell you guys a little something. Uh, um, shoot. I try exclusive. To, I know we get an exclusive. We got an exclusive. Another thing about me is don't do that. <laughs> another thing about me, I'm not gonna give you everything. Sometimes, uh, like my I'll, my person, if you know me personally, yes. But with the brand, smoke and mirrors. Sometimes I don't like to give out all the information, mm-hmm. so I'll know something I'm doing, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but I just won't say it. I'll mm-hmm. give a little snippet. Mm-hmm. Um, I wanted to do. A, I'm, I'm focusing on doing an art piece, like a poster. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, so that it could be framed in painting, mm-hmm. but it has to symbolize dedicated to the grind. So I don't exactly know exactly how I want it to look now, but I definitely know I want to do something like that. Are you okay. going to do it yourself or are you scouting no, an I artist? No, I don't have that type of talent. <laughs> yeah. 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 Scouting an artist? Yeah, I, gotta, I have to scout an artist. Well, y'all yeah. hear that. If you're an artist, yeah. a becoming artist in this area, you know, there's to hit a, up mm-hmm. Mike from Dedicated to the Grind. There's a place you should hit up is in Hyde Park. It's mm-hmm. a it's that um Oh the, the art, art place to like Picaro or whatever. Oh I know the art call. Yeah. Yeah. The other like I know artists in Hyde Park or like around the community who, you know, they're trying to get exposure but they, they put their art in the in that store and this caveat is that they have to work at the store like do like an hour or two mm-hmm. every day mm-hmm. but those are like artists that like that need, need exposure yeah and they're probably it's really gonna, actually good art too it's, it's really beautiful good, art yeah. really good so, art yeah. um, I'm trying to I'm trying to I symbolize because I remember I can be very descriptive of how I want so I'm just trying to symbolize in my head like what that would look like would it look like hands Okay, yeah. Well, you dropped yeah. that what, exclusive. What, what it look like hands <laughs> and then like let's say water's like water's pouring but with <laughs> the water it's it's various forms blood. of various forms of like uh, hustle. So it can be like, you know, in the water, you'll see like, uh, I don't know. I it's in this, your head. You have to This is how I play ideas. Like, this is how I come up with stuff. Is that like, how you ended up coming up with the logo? You were giving them descriptions like, this is what so I, I want. So I had this already, even with the, with the crown with the crown over yeah. the eye, which symbolizes the person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, so that's what the, the crown over the eye stands oh. for. Oh, that's deep. I didn't know that. Yeah. So it's, it's you know, it means something to me. But, mm-hmm. um, that is kind of how I play with it Dope. because I had something. I had something before this. It was a guy with a. Mm-mm. I can show you later, but it was a guy. <laughs> it was a Please guy. Do. It's a guy with a pinky ring. Oh, oh, oh like Lord. a pimp. He had, he had a, he had a, he had a pimp. On, so. That's his thing. Yeah, it was bad. A pink. Well, this ring. is a definitely ring, yeah. this is a huge with upgrade. The crown on it. Oh, it was bad. This is a major yeah. upgrade right here. So oh. I felt like this can be like. Um, you know, just used for anything. Mm-hmm. You know? Definitely universal. Definitely. And when it's scared corporate America, you can approach them with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very true. No, it's it's clean. And that's also another thing. I want to start stepping out and possibly getting, um, I want to say grant money, but getting recognition from, um, let's say, so I live in Quincy. So let's say like the mayor of Quincy, giving him like a, a, a good description of what I'm doing mm-hmm. and then hopefully getting funding to do stuff. But like I said, I don't want to. know if I don't want to do anything in Quincy. I want to do it in Boston. I want to do it like in, you know, Roxbury, Dorchester. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, make it happen, bro. So, oh. that's that's what it is. 
That's great. Yeah. Um, that's really, to really the dedicated to the grind. Mm-hmm. I actually like oh. that. It's a huge ring, dope mm-hmm. ring. Yeah. Dedicated to the grind. Um, so yeah, just look forward to it. I'm probably yesterday actually. I that's all I was doing. I was just thinking of ideas, 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 and and it just might come as a shocker. It's only me doing this. Oh, so it's, wow. just, it's just one man just team. Now that doesn't mean in the future I don't want to work with people. It's just mm-hmm. that it's kind of hard to you know share it's kind of hard for somebody else to share the same dreams as you yeah. they're not passionate about it yeah. mm-hmm. you guys are all passionate about education so this is why this podcast works mm-hmm. yeah. now thank you bro. I've tried to work with other people but they might not have the same drive oh yeah I'll do it and then they forget yeah <laughs> I can't work I get you but your goal is to grow your team to eventually team, with yeah. some like minded yeah. people they, ha- they have to be like minded they have <laughs> to want to you know financial independence they have to live breathe and eat dedicate mm-hmm. to the grind mm-hmm. All right. yeah mm-hmm. you know Yo, this is great. We learned a lot about dedicated to the grind. Mm -hmm. Uh, What we normally do when we end off the show is end with a word of the day. And you as our special guest will be delivering us our word of the day. So if Mm. you could leave our listeners with some words of encouragement or inspiration, what would you do or say? Um, I would say live vicariously through your dreams because with your through your dreams you're opening up gateways not only for yourself but for others mm. so sometimes i feel like i live vicariously through my uh, my ancestors mm. Mm. i feel like they kind of like power me to to be doing what i'm doing right now That's so cool. my great grandmother she was from grenada mm, cool. um, she she passed away in 2013 she was 100 wow so, wow yeah she lived a really good life um wow. so i feel like you know, j- just with like the Caribbean blood and just this me in general, like how determined I am. I feel like I like I live vicariously through her, and I found out through her obit- obituary she was actually um, she had like her own her own nanny service. So wow. like, this must like, so this must be through my, it's my it's blood. Genetic, yeah. it is genetic. Your blood. Being a boss is live genetic. vicariously, <laughs> live vicariously yep. through your dreams, there through you your dreams, which I think is pretty dope. Um, yeah. That's not easy, to be honest. It takes work. It takes work. Like it takes self-discipline. Absolutely. You got to get out your own head. Absolutely. Yeah. Cons- yeah. All right, y'all. Thank you, Mike. For really sure. appreciate thank you. Yes, you. Yeah, so yeah, love having you here. Dedicated to the grind. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, we do love having you here uh, and mm-hmm. talking more about your brand. Definitely. And you know, this is the probably future. the first time. Um, well, it's going to go. You know, this is the first time I've showcased my personality and mm-hmm. talk more about me because on the page, I don't make it about me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's probably not even that many pictures of me on there. <laughs> you know what I mean? So That's if great. I if I really like you, yes, I I tell you like, hey, this is my personal page. Yeah. When I told you guys this is my personal page, it's because I, I liked you. I, yeah. I, I felt a good aura from you. Yeah. Know what I mean? yeah. It took a while till we actually got yeah. to that personal page. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's because I don't know, you know. Yeah. No, that makes, makes sense. Yeah. People, that no. makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. It definitely yeah. makes sense. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode Absolutely. of the Beast Talk. Let's go ahead and jump right. into the homework. Yes, homework, guys. Ooh. You already know. Hit us up on Instagram. You can find us at the Beans Talk Podcast. Mm-hmm. You hit that link in bio and it'll take you to all the platforms that we are on, including YouTube, where you can see us yes. and our ded- dedicated to the grind gear. Um, Mike, is there anything else that people need to check out and look out uh, for for dedicated to the grind? Want to drop some tags? So new stuff will start coming out next month. Okay. Nice. Uh, when I say next month, I mean sometime in February. I don't know exactly when, but sometime okay. in February. New Looking merch in February. Yep. We're gonna start the rollout in uh, February. Cool. Yep. And where can they find you? So you can find me at dedicated to the grind dot net. Um, or you can go to the link in the bio on my dedicated to the grind page. That's dedicated the number two the grind dot net. And dedicated to the grind dot com on Insta- I'm, I'm sorry, dedicated to the grind on Instagram. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Very nice. So you guys know what to do. Hit us up. Leave us some comments, yes. some likes. Go and get your dedicated to the grind merch. Yes. And as always, and go learn something too. You know? and, yeah, yeah. and go always learn nice. something. Go yeah. learn something. And you guys know we love you very much. Mm-hmm. Peace. Peace. Bye, Bean Fam. Hey!